Yo, what up, everybody? All right, here's a video. This gentleman's name is Andre Rocks slash Marques Johnson. Um, he is loosely affiliated with the group Wu Tang. He's a rapper and a member of Killer Bees, which is an offshoot of Wu Tang. Um, he moved to Pasco County less than two weeks ago, less than three weeks ago now, I should say. And he already had an encounter, an unconstitutional encounter with the Pasco County Sheriff's Department. So this guy's legitimate. He's a rapper. Um, again, loosely affiliated with Wu-Tang. Uh, Tampa Bay Times did a piece on him, and they're more concerned about digging up how affiliated he was with Wu-Tang rather than uh, holding police accountable for their unlawful actions. So he sent, he reached out to me. He sent me this video. We spoke on the phone. I'm supposed to go interview him today. Later on, we'll see what happens, but he is the passenger here. Okay. These guys, him, his father, I believe there's another person in the car. I don't remember him and his father went to pick up a motorcycle that he wanted. The motorcycle was very heavy. It's his dream motorcycle. He told me on the phone and it weighed down the trailer and it made the license plate fold a little bit. So of course, predator uh, sheriff's deputies that acting like predators use that excuse to, to pull him over. Okay. Now, mind you, he's a passenger. I'm trying to get it all out because I know people don't like me pausing, but I have to pause and get my two cents in and run my mouth because that's what I do, guys. Sorry. So watching now, of course, I'm going to pause and interject and add my two cents. So here we go. Andre Rocks, Marques Johnson. Uh a member of Wu-Tang and the Killer Bees is picking up a motorcycle, trying to drive it about 10 miles with his father's actually doing the driving. The, the motorcycle was heavy, folded his license plate a little bit. Okay. And I'll keep butting in. Pasco County. We are pulled over. That's working good so far. Hold on. I didn't pause at that time. Back home. Pasco, Pasco County, we are pulled over towing our motorcycle back home in Pasco County, Florida. Police have pulled me, my father, and my uncle over. Quick pause. Every time you do a Facebook Live and the camera's facing toward you, it makes everything look like you're driving in Britain or something. The father who is driving the car says, yes, I do. And he hands it over, which he's obligated to do by FS 322.15. He don't have to hand it over physically. He has to present or submit it, which means he could just show it to him through the window legally, lawfully. On you too, sir. Um, I'm a passenger. I'm not required to identify in myself. In the state of Florida, you are. Um, Lie number one. In the state of Florida, you are not. As a passenger, required to ID, Florida Statute 901.151. That's national law, Fourth Amendment. In I'm the not state required. Of Florida, you are. And the Fourth Amendment. Sir, I'm a passenger. I'm not required to identify myself to you. So, look. So, look, here's where the threats start coming. You want to play that game? Okay, you can go ahead and get. No, it's not a game. It's Florida law, FS 901.151. You do not have to ID unless you are about to commit a crime, have already committed a crime, or believe to about to commit a crime. There's three standards before you have to ID. A passenger of a vehicle being stopped for a traffic infraction, traffic code, your favorite thing to uh, impede people's freedom with. If you want to play that game, we can pull you out and I can take you to jail for resisting. I can pull you out. So already the physical threats start. I can pull you out for resisting. Resisting what? He's not resisting anything. He's telling you Florida Statute 901.151 says he doesn't have to ID, and he's 100% correct. Resisting arrest? You're going to yes, arrest sir. me for that? Yes, sir. Stop. He's saying he's going to arrest him for resisting arrest. Think about this, people. Re arrested for resisting arrest. I bet you donut operators use this line a couple times in his life. So in the state of Florida, you are required to identify yourself even as a passenger. That's a lie. Listen, man, we're not somebody who likes to write tickets. That's another lie. Honestly, 
We ID Honestly, that's another lie. You, we totally tell you about what's going on. We kind of pretty much just get you on your way. Okay. But so now the cop checks to see if he's recording. He sees that he's recording and keeps shining the flashlight at the phone because he doesn't want to be identified. You got to ID yourself, man. No, he doesn't. 901.151. I'm not required to identify myself. Do you? The state of Florida is your own, brother. That is another lie. Listen, my man, you can tell us who he is. We can do it from there. That's my son. Okay, what's his name? Marcus Johnson. Now they uh, uh, coerce his father into giving up his son's information because his father's scared. Dad, come on. So there's coercion. Come on now, I don't want to go to jail tonight. I don't need... So his father gave up the information because he's literally afraid of being kidnapped by these guys. So they coerced him into giving away that info. Yes. Listen, is there such thing as the Fourth Amendment? Marcus. They have no idea what the Fourth Amendment is, bro, so you're wasting your time. I'm sorry. Thank you. Here's my license, my registration, my insurance. Where are you guys heading tonight? Um, I just moved here last None of your business. To 7410 West. Um, sorry to hear that. <laughs> so now they're saying sorry to hear that you just moved here. Ha, 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 ha. Now it's time for jokes. Okay. Um, he just, he was here helping me. Sorry to hear that because there's armed thugs stopping him on the side of the road and co coercing him. He found a motorcycle for cheap. It wasn't working, so I put it on a tow dolly that I had. And I live right down the street here. I just moved in. Okay. So, I'm going to hand this to Deputy Dunn. Okay. All I'm going to say is take a minute to talk to your son. Uh, uh, Honest to God, it's really going to be fairly easy for you, okay? Deputy Dunn does not. As long as your son complies with our unlawful orders, it'll be easy for you guys. That's the rapist mentality. Listen, lady, if you just spread your legs and accept it and pretend you like it, this will go much faster for you. This cop is a disgrace to men, not just cops, but men in general. He's already saying, you know, we're going to pull you out the car, escalate violence against you because you don't want to surrender your Fourth Amendment and, and they don't want to comply with 901.151. Right citations, it's not something yeah. I do either. Okay. We kind of like to tell people about all that. It's kind of like a corrective thing. Up, so. You know what I mean? Okay. But when it gets escalated to this, he doesn't. So now they're cops explaining. Don't identify himself from there. He's interfering with uh, investigation, things like He's not interfering with any investigation. Your investigation is whatever traffic infraction the quote unquote driver has committed. The passengers are not under your control or jurisdiction at this point. That you can be taken to jail for that. That's and I don't want to do that. I don't want That's to fine. Let that. me give you my attorney's card. I'm I'm re can can I get my attorney's card for you? Literally I'm gonna give you my attorney's card my and you feel free to give him a call. I'm not gonna call him. Okay. Pasco. I'm not oh shit. I just blew that. I'm not gonna call him because I uh I make the law up as I go along. So it's concealing oh, part of it. Okay, it and was, all, all your lights are all messed up too, man. I would also like all of your cards and badge numbers. Sir. Sorry, guys. That's and I don't want to do that. I don't. Want that's fine. To Let me give you my attorney's card. I'm I'm re can can I get my attorney's card for you? Sure. I'm gonna give you my attorney's card, and you feel free to give him a call. I'm not gonna call him. Okay. I have no need to call him. I'll let him like it. I have no need to call him because I make the law up as I go along. You in the military? I, I'm you retired. Say, were you in the military? How you doing? And I would also like all of your cards and badge numbers. Sir. Okay. Sir? Yes. So the reason I pulled you over, I didn't get a chance to tell you yet. Okay. Your license plate in the back? I didn't get a chance to tell you because I'm too busy trying to violate the passenger's rights. It's folded up, so it's concealing oh. part of it. Okay. It and was... all, all your life. Uh, according to Andre, when I or Marcus, I don't know what he likes to go by. When I talked to him on the phone, he said it wasn't even like they're saying it obstructed or something. He said it just got to fold it a little bit, and he's got a picture of it. So if I get a chance to interview him, I'll try to take a look at that, too. It's all messed up, too, man. Yeah, that. The cops also claiming the lights are messed up, too. Again, there's no victim here. Uh, they're trying to move their personal property from one, uh, location A to location B. But police feel like, you know... The slightest thing, they, they they memorize all the traffic code, but they, they could care less about the Constitution. Constitution means nothing. They could they could add to their little uh, career record with arrest or something. 
That's what matters. And bringing in money for the state, that's what matters to them. Motorcycle kind of crunched everything. Okay. And we're just going a few blocks. Did he, did he ID him? He was starting to give me a name. Um, all of your... And again, none of these Pasco County sheriffs, they, they dress like like uh, SWAT team members, and they don't wear name tags. None of them have a name tag. I don't even see a badge. Name some badge numbers, please. Yeah, we'll get to that in a second. No badge, no name. These are like mercenaries. Huh? So technically, they could leave the scene, and no one would know who they were unless he has to rec uh, ID them by by uh, the video. And if you don't have video, again, this is probably what's been going on for decades that cops have been able to operate in the dark because there was no cell phone cameras when I was a kid. There was no records. They, if they didn't want to ID themselves, they just didn't. And a lot of them still don't and just don't realize that there's cameras around. Excuse me, sir. Can you just shut the car off for oh. me, please? Thank you. Man. Now it's time for police to escalate. Some badge numbers, please. The tyrant wave. Look, I'm a young tyrant. I've learned well. Have we done anything wrong, sir? No. Okay. Have we done anything wrong, sir? Except for demanding he surrender his Fourth Amendment and you guys not following 901.151. No, you're good. I'm a passenger, which means I'm not the subject of the investigation. He was operating the motor vehicle. That's 100% correct. Which means that, honestly, legally speaking, I'm free to walk away if I'd like to. Also legally correct. So. You see confused look on the baby tyrant's face? Yeah, I'm sorry, but I know my rights. Now he's laughing. When people say they know their rights, they laugh. It's a joke to know your rights to police officers. If you know your rights, that's ha 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 a funny time for cops. I am not the subject of the investigation. Fact. I was not operating a motor vehicle. I am not required to identify myself to you. That's correct. And he wasn't committing a crime. So he's not required to ID. That's not true. That's, yes. That's 100% true. Why don't cops know the law? And people wonder why I start getting loud and shit. Oh, Lord. Calm down. Okay, well, what? Can you quote me the law that tells me that I'm supposed to identify myself? <laughs> Cop quote the law. Imagine that. Up to you. Because the Fourth Amendment says that I have the right to be secure in my papers and my persons. From on just hold tight. I think he's talking to us. Just hold tight. I go blank when people start talking about the Constitution, which I swore an oath to. Okay, not a problem. This is the same uh, sheriff's department who stalked my wife, uh, called my personal phone with the with the police phone, violated my Fourth Amendment in 901.151 and 42 USC 1983. This is a lawless department from what I'm seeing. And when I contacted their head of legal, who's running for judge currently, Jeremiah Hawks, another scumbag who can't even answer an email. Now he wants to be a judge. You know, they all find themselves innocent. Now it's time to violate the First Amendment and block this guy's camera. Because he's uncomfortable being recorded. Why would you be uncomfortable? If you're comfortable and you think you're doing the right thing, why would you want to hide yourself from a camera? You're already on the camera. Only tyrants want to hide. Again, 
I'm going to ask, can I have your name and badge number? Yes, sir. Your name and badge number? My name, Deputy Pini, 4295. Thank you. And yours, sir? He's not. You don't have to worry about him. Is he uh, an officer of the law? Nope. Okay. Basically, there's a bunch of cops that are now conspiring on how to hem this guy up. That's what they're doing right now. What else could they be doing? How can we get this guy? That's what they're worried about. That's it. We need to teach this guy a lesson because he's recording us and now we're all butthurt. That we're on the record not knowing the law or the oath we swore an oath to. Or the, or the oath that we took. And, and shining a flashlight into a phone is the most cowardly thing you can do as a man, period. That's coward. This is who are police. Cowards like this guy. If you want to explain that and see if he gets yeah. out, if not, okay. then... All right, guys. I'm going to be conducting a narcotic sniff on the exterior of the vehicle. Narcotic sniff time. How do we go from you have to ID in the state of Florida to it's time for a narcotic sniff? Think about the mentality of police right now. Think about it. Look at it. Look at this guy. He's got his fingers. He knows he's doing wrong. Oh, we're trying to do a narcotic sniff all of a sudden. Right, but in order to do that, you guys have to step out of the vehicle for me. All right. I'm, I'm not asking you to. I'm telling you to at this point. No, hey, stop. I didn't even notice there's somebody else in the back. Yeah, there is. Oh, that's that's this is where Donut Operator would say, uh, what's his favorite case law? Oh, my God. Pennsylvania versus Mims. Pennsylvania versus Mims. You have to get out of the car when a cop tells you. It's supposed to be for their safety, not just at the demand or for trickery reasons like you're about to see right here. Yeah, no, I saw him. We'll step out of the vehicle. All right, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. They're conducting a narcotic sniff on the exterior of the vehicle. Can I put your hands on your back? Excuse me, am I under arrest? Am I under no. arrest? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Am I under arrest? Grab the phone for me. Am I under arrest? Can we just hold this, sir? No. So there, right away. They place, they grab him. They place him under arrest. He asked four or five times, "Am I being under? Am I under arrest?" And they won't answer him. None of them have a name tag on. They're all dressed like military, and uh, they arrested him for resisting arrest or obstruction. He didn't obstruct anything. He didn't resist anything. This is. This is just tyranny. Pure tyranny. Anyway, here's the link to his Facebook. Um, again, this is the sheriff's department I have in my county. And again, they're going to find themselves innocent. They already did on Tampa Bay Times. They, they found the officer's actions were whatever. You know, whatever they say every time. Find themselves innocent. The idea that you get to investigate yourself as an entity, as an entity or a person, or anything, much less a police force, is the most absurd concept in the world. These guys are armed. They're out in the streets like a gang conspiring to arrest people who haven't done anything to anybody who they don't have jurisdiction over. This is a kidnapping, pure and simple. 901.151 says you do not have to ID unless you're suspected of a crime. And then the Fourth Amendment says the same thing. It backs it up. Well, 901.151 backs up the Fourth Amendment. No unreasonable search and seizure shall not be violated. I used to know the thing by heart. I should re, re memorize it again. Uh, all right, I'm supposed to meet up with this guy. 
I got a bunch of rings to make. Whoever, oh, Kayopi, if, if I don't know if you watch my videos or not, I know you're Greek lady. Thanks for buying my uh, 13 colony ring. You're awesome. All of you are awesome. Consider becoming paid members if you want. If not, I understand. Uh, if 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 you don't want that, click the subscribe button. You will get 99% of everything I post. You just get it after the paid members. Also, click the bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't tell you when I upload a video. Also, go to John's Coin Rings on Etsy if you want to buy one of my smooth-ass rings. Other than that, the stalkers have calmed down a little bit. I get like one call a day now. Stalker number two is just, you know, I think he's realizing that dating my voicemail isn't as fun as he thought it would be. All right, guys, I'm going to try to get this guy on the phone now and interview him and peace and tranquility. Bye.